let's say you're in an accident and the driver of the other car jumps out spitting mad. What do you do? Do you act equally aggressive, look for a way out, or calmly try to defuse the situation? Well, new research suggests our reaction to stressful situations has a lot to do with our gender. Here to explain is CBC medical specialist, Dr. Carl Cabasel. Dr. Carl, in that situation I described, what is a man likely to do and what is a woman likely to do? Well, if you believe this new research, uh, it would suggest that men would be more likely to uh, sort of rise to the occasion during stressful situations with aggression, with uh, maybe with violence. And the reason why is because of the Y chromosome, and specifically a gene on the Y chromosome called SRY. So we've known that this uh, gene regulates whether a fetus turns into a boy or a girl by uh, activating the testicles to produce male hormone. But what this new research is, is sort of coming out with is that that same gene has influences in other parts of the body too. Okay, and it manifests itself in terms of stress. Well, that's right. So that gene apparently can increase blood pressure. It can help with voluntary muscle movements as well as sort of the baseline tone of your muscles. So you're sort of ready for action. And this uh, gene may help to sort of set you up for that action if you're a man. Okay, and so, uh, so this is very specific to men. Uh, is the research reliable? Well, that's where it's, uh, it's a little shaky. Now, it did appear as a, sort of a, a, an opinion piece, or a, not even an opinion, but more a speculative piece based on a lot of animal research. But I think what this does do is sort of move our understanding and our knowledge a little bit further forward and at least open up new areas of research. Okay, because I think most people would assume that, you know, not to put stereotypes on people, but most people would assume that men are more aggressive than women, generally, right. um, but now we know why. Well, at Possibly, least, I mean. Uh, possibly, okay. and, and I suppose the tie-in with uh, International Women's Day is that women don't have this gene, and therefore the assumption that, you know, people in general have the fight-or-flight response may apply more to men because it's really in men that the research was done on okay. that reaction. All right. Um, so are we, what, what insights will this give us in terms of managing stress for men? Well, I think these are really early days and, and you know, we may be hopeful that one day it can lead to some sort of gender specific treatment for stress related illnesses, for example. But in the meantime, everybody deals with stress every day and there are some practical things you can do. Number one is the way you think, if you can sort of uh, stop thoughts that cause you stress, the way you react to things, and learn to say no when you're being sort of overwhelmed with demands. The other thing you can do is to sort of take control of your life and be assertive and speak up. Oftentimes stress can be generated by sort of uh, feeling powerless or not uh, in control of your life, if you will. And finally, don't do it alone. Ask for help. Build a supportive network because, you know, the more you can sort of share a problem, the less stressful it'll feel like you're sort of taking on the whole world by yourself. All right. Dr. Carl, thank you very much. Thank you. CBC Medical Specialist, Dr. Carl Cubasell.